Hey guys, welcome back to Darksiders. We just got into the Grievers Lair, and we're gonna go ahead and start it now. <sighs> I don't like this dungeon. But, I shall do it, because I must. Alright. So, um, hopefully I won't have much trouble with it, because obviously the first time you go through it, you know, you don't really know what you're doing, so obviously, um, you have a harder time going through it the first time. But, now that I know exactly what to do, I should be able to just race right through it. Okay. And hey, a gun! Perfect. Let's go grab it. Oh my god, no, not now! I don't have the upgrade from the dungeon. Grab the gun! <laughs> bang, 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 bang! Oh my god! Whoop! Oh, what the hell? Die! Come on, man, shut up! That's better. Don't feel so good, does it? Oh, come on, that's not fair. Ha! Perfect. <laughs> One last shot. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah, you get out of here. I'm working on it. What do you mean, don't toy around with her? I was shooting her. Man. I was trying. Anyway, there's a soul chest back here, so go ahead and grab that. Okay. So now I think... Uh, okay, that's above me. I think... Is it this way? I, there's one way that you can go right now. I think this is not it, but I'm going to check anyway, just to be on the safe side. But there's also a chest here, so go ahead and grab it. So may as well grab that now while I'm here. Okay, now, I don't think this is the way, although there is another chest here. Man, there's souls all over the place here. Okay, so there's that. Uh, yes, we can't go this way because the, uh, there's ice in the way, the door that we need to open. So, yeah. Gee, I wonder what upgrade we're going to be able to get in this dungeon. Is it going to be the one that lets us break ice? I sure hope so. All right. So, break that. And they give you a health chest just straight away so you can heal from that little mock fight with the Griever. So, yeah. That's very nice of them, actually. Alright, in this area, this is kind of annoying just because it takes a little bit of time, but it's alright. So, climb up on the wall, climb down on the wall, jump over here, oh, jump over here, there we go. Then, climb up on the ceiling, and you pretty much have to do that every time you want to get through that area. It's a little bit, it's pretty tedious, but, eh, it's whatever. Ah, in this room. This room is annoying if you miss where you need to go. And it's pretty easy to miss. Um, or at least it was easy for me to miss. I don't know if I was just stupid. I was probably just stupid, but yeah. Okay. Uh, these little enemies, they're like little bug bat things. Um, you can kill them for health. So yeah, they're basically just like the little human zombies. So you can just one-shot them and you get free health. But... If you want to get souls, you need to kill them with your sword or something else. Anyway, when you kill them, you can't do anything... Oh, what the hell? I didn't know there was a fish in here. Die. Or at least I forgot there was a fish. Um, when you kill them, the only thing you can do is swim down here. Uh, there is nothing up above that you can do right now. And hey, I found the, the correct room right on the first try. It's awesome. What you need to do is you got to swim up and find this wall. That's it. You can't do anything else in the room aside from doing this, so you need to come this way. Oh, come on. There we go. And climb up here. Okay. So from here, we can actually start doing stuff in the room. So, another bug flying out, and you turn on this pipe, and starts fire, and then that one over there gets ignited. Or it's, it doesn't get ignited, it just gets, uh, you know, gas flowing out of it. Boom, boom, ignite the gas. Also, just in case you were wondering, it is actually 100% safe to move through that gas. You can fly through it, it does not hurt you at all. And then we need to hit that one. So, there we go. And that's it. Pretty easy. Um, now, I think what we need to do, we need to get a bomb and throw it there. Go ahead and get another one just to be safe, just so you don't disappear or something. 
So now, um, all oh, right, they're over there. Okay, they're nowhere near me. So now, what you need to do, you can probably do this without having to go underwater like twice, or like without having to climb up the wall twice. But I don't know how. Um, anyway, go ahead and swim up on the wall again. Basically, just rinse and repeat what you just did, except we're not going to jump back down. Hey, perfect. There we go. Man, it's like I'm a speedrunner or something. Except no. I'm not good enough at games to be a speedrunner. Okay, so go ahead and kill the bugs. That's a really easy way to kill them if you're not within sword range and they're just not coming to you. Just go ahead and use your crossblade and uh, charge it up fully and it will kill them. So, yeah. There we go. So jump up here. Go across this. Do, 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 do. And drop. Now, jump on this one, and you slide down these automatically. So now, all you gotta do is get the fire and blow them up. And that room is done for now. We'll be... Oh, jeez. We'll come back to this room later, but for now, we're all done. Oh, no! Little things that I'm sure that will actually challenge me and make it hard for me to kill things. Except, no, they're not hard at all. Also, you can jump down here in this water. You can get this later, but I prefer to get it now, just because. Uh, you can get a little artifact hit down here in the water. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to that. So, um, that's pretty much it. And then jump up here. Jump, jump. Uh, let's see. Ah, here we go. Jump, and jump. There we go. Now we're all out. And, you got a chest here. So there's a lot... God, there's so much stuff to do here. And hey, look, there's a thing over there that I want, but I can't get, sadly. Not yet. At least, I don't think not yet. Maybe I can. Let's see. I don't think I... Yeah, I know, you can't land on that. Okay. Nope. Not for, not for now. We'll get it later. Alright. So. Huh. <sighs> Now all I gotta do, just come through here. Man, I am just racing through this. I didn't think I'd be able to get through this fast, but man. Oh no, dogs! Little upgraded versions of dogs. Ow. Hate these guys. Yeah, these guys can be a little bit annoying because they, like, propel themselves at you and you can't really move fast enough to dodge it most of the time. You usually, like, if you see it coming, it's easy to dodge. But, yeah. Or unless you just don't care, like me. Would you do the friggin' thing? How long do I have to delay? Oh my god, I'm trying to do my delay slash, but it's not working. There. I hate that. Ugh. That's like half the time I don't do it. The other half, I wait too long and I just lose the combo completely. It's like, oh my god, just let me hit him. <laughs> I lost, like, my entire health bar just trying to use the attack I want to use. Because it's actually really good. Oh, well. Anyway. I think there's more stuff in here. Uh, something is going to break out of here. Oh, great. Oh, would you stop that? You see? It's so dumb. Here, I'll just do this. Would you stop losing the damn hit here? Oh, <laughs> I don't know why. This is really annoying. This is the only time I've ever had problems using that attack. Like, uh, legit problems. So here, I'll just use the scythe for now. And no, I don't want to... I don't want to kill them with a finisher because it's not worth it. Ow. They're kicking my ass. Oh no, it's a punchy demon. Whatever will I do? Oh, he's right there. Damn. Alright, here. You know what? I'm just going to do this. Screw it. See if I care. Boom. Three hits for a punchy demon. Man. Shred these guys to pieces. That's better. Asses. Man. That hurt. Okay, why am I having so much trouble doing this attack? I'm doing it the exact same way I always did it. Man. Oh, and open in here. And where the punchy demon came out. And you can get an abyssal armor piece. Yay. So let me see something. Yeah, now I can do it just fine with that. Yeah, and now I can do it just... What the hell? 
Oh, that's so annoying. All right, well, got a health chest here. I'm actually going to use it because I lost a substantial amount of health to those guys. But yeah, for some reason, I just can't do it. Like, what the hell? Like, in the middle of combat, I'm just having a lot of trouble doing it. It's really annoying. But okay. Remember, uh, there's no reason to be afraid of going underwater. You breathe infinitely because, uh, well, you're awesome. Okay. So, we got to swim through these flooded tunnels, and we're going to need a key to get through that door. So, come on in here, and there's a few hidden things in this area. So, first off, uh, you're going to want to swim down. But I'll show you why. I think if you go... Would you die already? I thought I hit you twice. Die! Ugh. Okay. Yeah, if you go this way, see, there's like uh, a fan, and it's blowing water towards you, and you can't you can't go there. So you gotta swim down. Okay, whoa, 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 can I look forward? There we go, that's better. Ugh, I hate that. But, first off, you wanna come over here. This is optional. I don't know how, I don't know why you would not go for this, but you can choose not to. Reaper, there it is, awesome, okay. Finally, oh my god, I've been waiting for that. All right, Reaper, I want Reaper on the scythe. And then I'm going to go ahead and put Bane, or, uh, yeah, Bane on Chaos Eater. Okay, so now uh, I'll show you what Reaper does, because I didn't actually look at it, Reaper. Slotted bonus. Boosts the amount of souls acquired from enemies and creatures. Additional soul rewards when assigned to the scythe. So if you're going to assign this at all, put it on the scythe. Don't even bother putting it on the sword. So, yeah. And it's, it, this only has a bonus when it's slotted, so that's another thing you need to remember. This is not a passive one. You have to have it slotted for it to have that bonus. So, yeah, just be sure you slot it if that's something you want. Ooh, Wrath Shard! Ding! Yeah! Okay, just three more. And souls over here. And a wheel over here. Bum 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 bum. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> uh, I love that. It's kind of like, it's basically like the little Zelda do-do-do-do thing, you know. Or, I forgot. You know, it's been so long, I don't know how this is even possible. It's been so long since I've played a Zelda game or heard that sound that I actually legitimately forgot what the sound is. I do remember... I remember that but not the uh, little secret get one, you know? Okay, so, uh, whoop, still fish. Man, I just I got done killing you all. What the hell? Man, I miss my, uh, I miss my combat lore already, but oh well. Anyway, guess what it is? It's a key. Told ya. Okay, so, beholder's key. And now we need to take it back to the door and stab it in the face, because that's what we do to doors. We kill them. We don't open them, we kill them. Okay. Stab! Alright. Yeah! Here we go! Oh, yes! It's the thing! It's the upgrade! Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Boom! Gimme it! Now, this is one of the more useless upgrades in the game, sadly, because I really, really love the concept of it, but it's it's just crap. It's complete garbage. <laughs> it's really cool. That's the problem. It's so cool, but it sucks. It's the Tremor Gauntlet. This is basically like your second... It's your third weapon. It's It can take the place of the scythe, if you so choose. Um, this thing sucks, and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and put combat lore back on the sword, and I'm gonna put Bane on the gauntlet. There we go. Okay. This thing is complete garbage. Basically, you know how the, oh, and also, you can always swap in between the scythe and the gauntlet just by pressing down on the d-pad. So, one, two, uh, let's see, now I got the gauntlet, and then just down, oh, damn it. Oh no, new enemy! I hate these guys, they are the worst. But okay, uh, I have the gauntlet now, as you can see, and now immediately back to the scythe. So, let's see, just like that. 
All right. But yeah, uh, you know how the scythe actually has a purpose where it has like multiple, it's got a really, really large range of attack? Well, this is just one, two, one, two. That's it. Now, it probably does a lot of damage with each hit, but it's one, it's two hits on a single target. That's it. That's all it does. And you can't extend that combo. There's nothing else. There are some other attacks you can get, like you can buy them from Balgrim. But it's so worthless. It's garbage. It sucks because I really, really like it. Like, I love the concept of it. I would love to just play this game beating the hell out of everything. So, when you do enough damage to these guys, uh, you jump up on their back and you, like, ride them around. You can ride them into en uh, other enemies and they'll kill them for you. And then you have to do it twice. See, we ripped his horn off. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the side now because that's my favorite weapon, or my favorite secondary weapon. Ow. See, like, while I'm hitting the little guys, I'm also hitting the big guys, so it's actually worthwhile. Like, ugh. Okay. Now, you have to do the finishers on these guys twice if you're fighting without your Chaos Form. Chaos Form, you can just beat the hell out of him and kill them. See, rip his horn off, and then splat. Cut off his neck. Or his head, whatever. <laughs> cut his neck off. That's all I did. I cut his neck off. <laughs> Whoa! Now I cut his whole body off. There was nothing left but a head. Ugh. Get down from there. Come on. Really? <laughs> did I... I think I made him... I think I screwed it up. <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll just shred him. That's fine. I don't mind waiting. <laughs> Will it blend? Demon dogs! Uh. Well, it takes a long time, but will it blend? Doesn't really look like it, but we can do it. Come on! If I had some kind of grab, or like some kind of chain, some some kind of hook shot, I don't know. Man, that would be helpful. Uh, so, um... Yeah, just kind of standing here, trying to kill this guy here. <laughs> Let's see. There we go, that's much better. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I shouldn't have done that, but it was funny. Or at least I think it was funny. Alright. Would you stop that? God, I hate that attack. <laughs> Ow. Okay, fine, here. Splat. Now, because it's slotted, you'll always get more souls from enemies regardless, but when you have it slotted on the scythe, you get uh, more when you kill them with the scythe, I believe. So if you use the scythe, you get more souls, but even if you don't use the scythe, you still get more than normal, which is good. So Reaper is a very good thing to equip. I highly recommend using Reaper. It's really, it's very useful. Now, what the hell? Of course a little guy hits me. Hit him. Die. Thank you. Oh my god, look at all that. At least his health chest will heal me completely, you know what I mean? Splat. Come on, let's go for a ride. And I think you can you can end that, the riding thing. I think you can end that a little bit earlier if you just mash X. So yeah, keep that in mind. Um, okay, so that's where we need to go. I'm going to grab this health chest because, ow, took a lot of damage. But that's all right. So uh, you can either punch ice blocks twice to break them or... Oh, I broke them all. All right, well, you can either punch ice blocks twice to break them or you can press and hold Y to do like a charge up attack and break them from all around you. So like... Uh, this is just Y twice, or press and hold it, and boom. That That's useful sometimes. But you're probably never going to see me use the gauntlet unless it's like on accident, and you're never going to see me buy a single thing for the gauntlet. You're never going to... I will never buy anything for the gauntlet because 
uh, my souls are much better spent upgrading Chaos Eater and etc. You know, Chaos Eater, Blade Geyser, buying healing items, upgrading things that are actually useful to me, you know what I mean? So, I'm sorry if you like the gauntlet. I personally think it sucks, so I'm not going to be using it. So, yeah. Anyway, here we are in yet another room. And I'm going to go ahead and end it off now that we're here in this room. This room is basically just a big puzzle room. So, um, next time on uh, Darksiders, we're going to do this puzzle. And it's pretty easy. So, yeah. Anyway, I will see you guys then.